The countdown continues 27 days until Election Day and less than a week until early voting begins. News 10's Roseman Crowd is live at the Bell County Courthouse to explain what you should expect when going to the polls during a pandemic. Gordon, inside this building, there's still so many people working tirelessly to get everything ready for this unprecedented election. Certainly, there are expected to be some changes, including this. It's a uh, finger glove. They say it's supposed to help keep people safe, and it's one of the many safety precautions they have in place. In an election season, there's more than one side to every issue. Going to be this is the same man. It's all set up. Except maybe this one, voting during a global pandemic. We didn't ask for it. I know y'all didn't ask for it. It's just a situation we're in. Um, An unprecedented number of people are expected to vote by mail. Yes, it, there is a little apprehension with that. Just but many because. others are pushing past those concerns. I'm going to vote in person because I like to actually go in there. We've decided uh, to vote in person and we're going to... I just always have. I just feel like it's more official voting in person than... It it's a sense of pride. Bell County election officials say they take pride in keeping in-person voters safe. It's, it's extra hectic, you know, and of course just making sure we have supplies on hand because we have, you know, um, like Lysol for spraying stuff down and we have... All County officials say they're even putting up sneeze guards, maximizing space between voters and they're handing out these finger gloves to limit contact with voting machines. It's a very interesting design. We kind of joke, we said, we, we sure hope that no one's get health class, <laughs> you know? Like, what officials don't expect to change is the lines. I think that the lines are going to look longer than they really are just because of the distancing aspect. So they ask that you bring a mask and some patience. As a reminder, Bell County residents can vote at any one of the 41 locations in the county. That's opposed to previous years where you were assigned a polling location. We'll have all that information for you on KWTX.com. Reporting live in Bell County, Rosamond Crown, KWTX News 10.